there's been a lot of stuff going on and you know it's kind of hard for me to like pick and choose what I put out into the world sometimes <laughs> What's up guys, it's Charlie Jordan. I look kind of crazy right now because I don't have any makeup on and my face is breaking out. Stress, we love love to see it. <laughs> so today I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update and kind of take you through my day. So today I'm doing a shoot for Boohoo with Miss Olivia Ponton. We kind of went through and I just wanted to show you guys the before and after and behind the scenes of what it's like to kind of shoot. Um, I've worked with Boohoo for probably two or three years now. I have a super close relationship with them. They're like my family and Miss Olivia is working with them now. So I thought, you know, being an influencer sometimes it gets kind of isolating when you shoot content, you know, you can just go off and do your own thing but it's always nice to meet up with people and collab that's like my favorite part about my entire job we picked out a mood board we picked out outfits I got a makeup person and we're gonna do each other's hair which is gonna be super fun I also invited over a couple other of my girlfriends and I haven't done a house tour but my house is slowly coming together I'm so excited this view over here is literally my favorite thing in the entire world I haven't really done like a formal proper shoot here so my friend Lauren is coming over to shoot the pictures it's gonna be an all girls day girl power Yes. There's been a lot of crazy shit going on in my personal life lately, so I've just been trying to focus on surrounding myself with people that make me happy and doing things that make me happy. You guys know I talk about mental health a lot and how important it is. So, you know, I'm meeting up with Olivia because she is somebody, and I want to do a shoot with her because obviously we're friends, we've known each other for a while now, but I just really respect how much she works and her hustle and her grind, and you know, I just think it's so fun to like build each other up and support each other while we're doing all of this stuff. I just had to go to the Boohoo showroom to pick out doubles of every single matching outfit so that we can matchy matchy it up. I don't know, it's all about the colors and the, the lighting and the angles. When I first started shooting, I would like take on all these responsibilities myself. You know, I did my own hair, did my own makeup, picked the location, reached out to the photographer. And that is super fun, but the whole point of, like I said, you know, working and doing this job is that you can meet up with people and hang out with them and do collaborative things and make creative pieces that you normally wouldn't be able to make on your own. And like see through things can be like little yeah. bikinis, and then yeah. I love the the jeans. Like, yeah, That's even like jeans, thought. like super just like and just bikini. like chill out. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, bikini. yeah. Let's do a bikini with the t-shirt over it. We can like and hold, hold it. it. Okay. And, like, do stuff like that. Let's do that. Then. <laughs> A lot of people will like edit in, instead of doing the makeup, they'll just edit in like contour and highlight on like Facetune. If you wanted, you could just Photoshop and Facetune everything yeah. into your picture, yeah. or it's like way more fun to like don't know. Everyone. Yeah, I, I didn't know, know what Facetune was phone. until like two years into doing Instagram, and I was like, I feel like I, I should have known Facetune. this. <laughs> no, I used to Facetune my pictures a lot when I was like 16, and I'd like, oh, it was terrible. Please don't go back and look at this photo. But now I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> photo shoot essential. Per Brandon's request, give the people what they want. Breathing it in. Getting our grounding for the. Um. Um, we're vegan. Yeah. And we live in LA. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is just stereotypical. I'm not vegan at all. <laughs> yeah. I tried. <laughs>
that's a wrap on that shoot. That was actually so much fun. I've been wanting to shoot with Olivia for so long and we ran through so many looks and she picked out so many cute clothes. I don't know, you can even see like in the video when we're like posing and going back and forth, we like copy each other and flow off of each other. Like it's always just really fun. So yeah, that shoot was sick. I'm so excited to edit pictures and post them on Instagram, which you guys will see or have seen. But basically, you know, I wanted to do a life update. There's been a lot of stuff going on and you know, it's kind of hard for me to like, pick and choose what I put out into the world sometimes. I always try to be transparent with you guys about everything, but there are some personal things that go on that, you know, I wanna like really figure them out before I talk to you guys about it. And as you guys know, there's been a lot of stuff going on. I moved into my new house, which has been a dream and still doesn't feel real. I love being here so much. And it's just like finally like a place for me to like have people over that I love and have all the people come together that, you know, I know will also love each other. And it's just like been so incredible having the space. But but also kind of scary and challenging at the same time because you know <laughs> there's a lot of doors in this house and when there's like a creak or a noise I literally am like jumping out of my pants like I'm just like I swear to god one day I was tiptoeing around thinking that there was someone in my house for like three minutes like I straight up thought there was somebody downstairs and I was like I was like, weapon, weapon, like running through my head. I'm like, what do I do right now? And it was just a freaking door. So yeah, no, I don't know. You know, I've had some really intense family stuff going on lately. I've never really talked about my family. Everyone's always asking. They're like, does this girl even have a family? Like what's going on? You know, I, I know you guys see me post about my brothers and I posted about my mom recently. I'm the oldest of seven and I absolutely love my family to death, but I've been going through some personal stuff with my parents and it's been really hard and it's hard to like deal with like really intense situations like that and also have to like put on a smile and do all the things that I do every single day so sometimes I'll pull away and it's it's crazy how much you guys notice like it's always like mind-blowing to me how people can like tell when that's happening they don't ever really know why like people always say the wrong stuff to me they can see like something is wrong they just don't know exactly what's wrong but there's been a lot of stuff um, you know my family drama moving to this house having to take care of my mom and like my siblings and just <sighs> It's been a lot. There's a lot of really exciting things happening. I just got a residency in Las Vegas, which if you guys don't know what that is, a residency is basically like a guaranteed performance for like a set amount of time. So you have shows like over and over and over. It's almost like touring, similar to touring, but it's at one place and you play shows consistently over the course of, you know, it can be like half a year, it can be a year. Literally a dream come true for me. You guys know I was supposed to have a residency at Hakkasan. I was supposed to have a residency there for a year, but right when COVID hit, that's when I was supposed to start and everything kind of just like went down the drain. Which which was devastating and I hated it so much. I have such incredible people around me and I you know, was DJing still when I could during COVID, never like parties or anything, but just like close friends over. I would just be by myself on live stream. I was doing as much as I could, getting in the studio, working on music. And now I am one of the few female DJs that has a residency in Las Vegas. I can't tell you where or the, the specific details of it. I've been, you know, spending a lot of time doing stuff for that. And I can't even talk about it. I'm like, I just want to spill the beans, but I'm born and raised in Las Vegas So to have a residency there all the homies are gonna turn up. It's gonna be so fun I'm so excited. You know, I've been running smoke roses, which is my business If you guys haven't heard me talk about that go check out the video that I made about it But I started uh, my own company. It's called smoke roses it's organic rose petal cones I've been filming the smoke roses series, which was so fun The first one was with Bryce and then I did the second episode We'll put in a little teaser right here with Tana. You scared me. <laughs> I think you can outsmoke me too Okay. I've been thinking about that this whole show. I like was I was doing this whole thing where I was gonna like and I still want to do it where I pay someone ten grand to try to outsmoke me. Did you see me respond to your tweet? To yeah, but I'm <laughs> thinking about like if I did that with you, I think I would actually like lose ten grand. Like I would lose. I'm I think you you could definitely <laughs> outsmoke me. I'm saying it. I've known Tana since I was like 16 years old, so that was just the best thing ever. <laughs> we always smoked together, and it was finally just like us, you know, just shooting this shit, having a good time. So I try to keep you guys as updated as I can, but yeah, it's been pretty crazy being 22 now. <sighs> Just had my birthday in Miami also. My birthday was so much fun. Um, I did a little close friends and like family gathering here at my house, which we'll insert montage for that right now. that I miss. 
gosh, there's so many things. I'm like trying to like life update, like shove everything in here real quick. This is already nine minutes. Guys, I've been wearing this necklace for so long. This dagger, and you can see it is the uh, tattoo right here. I drew this forever ago and got it tattooed on me. And everybody would ask about it all the time. And I was just obsessed with this design for some reason because the rose is like signifies beauty and the dagger signifies pain and like the vine that I have like goes and grows into you know like the further growth from the pain and, and becoming like your own person and using the terrible things in your life that have happened to you as motivation to be better and to not become like that you know so the brand is really tied to mental health and I'm literally about to go into a meeting with the philanthropy department at UTA because I'm really interested in like starting my own organization and you know I love Operation Underground Railroad which is for sex trafficking. I've, you know, donated to them several times and I've worked with Kamigawa and all these incredible eco-conservation, uh, habitat conservation, animal conservation, charities and groups and individuals, you know, working with Forest Galante. So I'm really interested in getting into that space and like really attaching like these brands that I have so that like a percentage of everything that I do will go back to these these organizations and do something good with it, you know, like the whole point of <laughs> all of this, the reason that I do anything. Why do I just sound like a dragon? I went, <laughs> all of this, holy, I like was like, did I just hear that correctly? The reason I do all of this is because, you know, I want to give something back. I mean, what's the point of doing any of this? If it's just me, I mean, I want to, to do as much as I can, bring as much awareness as I can and change the world as much as I can. I, I love nature, I love plants, I love animals, I love keeping things clean and healthy and I just wanna bring it all back to that, you know? So I'm really excited to do that. And it's been crazy being able to DJ and have these businesses and get my own house and like, I don't know, it's 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 been a crazy time this past quarantine. Also being inside this entire time, being the busiest I've ever been, but also like the least busy I've ever been. It's like different ways of being busy. Like I used to travel all the time and now I'm like hustling and grinding out here. It's, it's kinda crazy and like I love reconnecting with everybody so honestly from being here not traveling as much I've been able to sit down and connect with you guys more you know do more YouTube do more Instagram kind of explain like how I do what I do and I'm really excited to start doing that more and talking to you guys more and just getting to know everybody and you guys being able to actually get to know me and know how I got to where I'm at right now. I love taking pictures, I love making videos, and it blossomed into all these other incredible interests, and you know, getting into music has been so incredible. I try to give you guys the best window in that I can, but <laughs> I'm not the best at communicating. I'm bad at texting, and really bad at filming things sometimes. Like, I just like to go do, and like, everyone's always like, why didn't you record it? I'm like, I forgot. That was my life update. I'm gonna do them a little bit more. And if you guys have any questions, you know, ask below, comment, make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>